Oh my gosh, they got one hit off on the Dark Elixir. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. We are on the Town Hall 8. Absolutely killing it, guys. We've got a Go Wipes trained up. Um, I've been asking you guys for... Uh, some what you want me to do with all my elixir because I can't upgrade anything right now because all of my elixir upgrades are completely done. All that I can upgrade is uh, some of these bombs and whatnot. I think all of our air bombs are maxed out at level three, but we can upgrade uh, some of these bombs. So we are going to have to be getting a lot more gold, but we're going to be upgrading the walls first, as you guys know. First off, I am going to be streaming today at three o'clock Eastern time, guys, on Twitch.tv forward slash gaming with Molt. We're going to be streaming on this base, so if you guys watch this, make sure that y'all head on over to the stream. I'll be streaming for about two hours, um, but we're going to go ahead and jump in here. We're going to do this go wipe, and I'm going to show you guys some defense replays because my base has been holding up pretty good, um, especially as I've upgraded stuff and as I'm upgrading walls. The base is it's holding its own, so we're going to go ahead and uh, first of all, let's see if we have any good uh, attacks. We do. Nice. I might have shown that one in, uh, I did show that one in the last raid. Uh, or in the last video. So we're going to go ahead and attack with this go wipe, guys. We're going to see what we can find. I'm going to show y'all how you should go wipe at Town Hall 8 and lower levels without jump spells and all that kind of stuff. Show you how to deploy everything like that. Um, and then we'll go back and watch some defense replays. All right. So hold on tight, guys. Um, and uh, make sure y'all leave a like on the video for me if you're liking all these Town Hall 8 videos. I'm really enjoying them. Um, we are going to jump back on to the Town Hall 10 very soon. I've just been trying to push through this and get this base. Uh, maxed out. All right, so hold on tight. And I'll be back with you guys in just a couple of seconds. All right All right guys, so we're going to be attacking this base uh, It's not the hardest of bases, but we can still show you the fundamentals of go wipe uh, You would have seen that that last raid when we skipped away had a good amount of loot But it didn't have dark elixir and dark elixir is what I'm looking for So we're gonna go ahead and get into this base guys and just go after it We're gonna drop off our golems up here on opposing sides just like this Spread out our wizards right behind them just to start taking out some of those buildings. Drop off our archers as well. We'll go ahead and drop off a couple wall breakers uh, as well as the rest of our wizards. And then drop off our uh, pekkas and get them up in there towards the center. We should be able to drop off these the rest of our wall breakers and get them up in here. Um, we really want to try and get into this corner. Let's go ahead and drop a rage spell right here. The pekkas are going to be dumb and they are going to run around the outside of the base. Which is really going to be unfortunate. Uh, we're going to drop our king off as well, but as you can see, he is about to head into the center of the base. We can drop off another rage spell right here as the rest of those troops get into the center. And here comes the absolute annihilation of the base, guys. We're in the middle. We got that rage spell up. All of our P.E.K.K.A.s are in there. They are going after the king instead of the Teslas, but I want... There they go. Now it's going after the Tesla, which is what we need because Teslas do so much damage to P.E.K.K.A.s. Um, but we already got all that Dark Elixir. We already got practically all the loot. I don't have to worry about anything. Go wipe is such a strong strategy. We just lost all those troops down there at the bottom. But all of our P.E.K.K.A.s are still up. One of our Golems is full. Uh, not full, but at its largest form. We're going to go ahead and use the King's ability right there. Just take out that Archer Tower. Keep him up. Uh, and then head over to this Builder's Hut. But that's pretty much it, guys. What you got to do, just like any other type of Go wipe, is spread them out on opposing corners. Not opposing, but far enough apart to where they're focused on two defenses. Then spread out your wizards so that they aren't focused by the defenses, but the golems are. Then once all those buildings are cleared, you drop off the rest of your uh, P.E.K.K.A.s to head into the middle, as long as you, as well as your king. How did my king get damaged? <laughs> and uh, then you just you just go to town. That's all there really is to it. We got a good amount of loot from that, guys. I'm definitely, definitely okay with that. Uh, look at that. 193 elixir, which I don't need, and 111 gold. Uh, 111,000 gold, and then almost a thousand dark elixir. That's awesome. We do, however, need to get 20,000 more to upgrade our king up to level 10, and we've got so much more to do. We're gonna go ahead and train up um, more pekkas. We're just gonna do some pekka attacks with six pekkas. Let's throw in uh, about 10 wall breakers, and uh, I don't know. Why don't we throw some goblins in here or something? And 
and uh, see what we can make happen with all those goblins. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for the rating. Uh, let's go ahead and watch some of these reviews, guys, because like I said, the defense hasn't been doing too bad. This guy's got um, a lot of troops that he's going to deploy, and uh, we've got, wow, we've got almost 2,000 licks for them to steal, but he only gets about 32%, so he drops off his king way too early. There's nothing to protect his king. He's using his king as a tank right now, which is not smart. Um, you can see that our uh, our wizard tower and our air defenses are absolutely wrecking. Uh, that wizard tower was able to take out those troops so they couldn't mess with that. One of the dragons is already down. His king is about to be down. This guy doesn't really know how to attack. Uh, he has like barch with giants and dragons. Such a random army comp. There goes that spell. He should drop off a bunch of giants to get them in there to that spell so he doesn't waste it. But he's not going to. I don't know what he's doing. What is this guy doing? He has so many troops left that he needs to use. If he just drops off his giants, he'll get in there to that elixir right there that he wants. He did get 385 dark elixir. I guess that was from my pump. Or yes, it was definitely from the pumps because he wasn't able to get into the middle. Um, the archer tower and that wizard are wrecking that dragon once again. He's taking out the town hall right now. Let's go ahead and fast forward and see. There he goes. So there he goes. Now he drops off one of his giants. What is he doing? And those archers... I'm, I'm really confused at this guy's attack strategy. <laughs> He's got all the... Why is he not dropping off his giants first? Okay, for anybody who attacks with this, which I hope you don't, drop your giants first. <laughs> your giants are there to protect uh, your barch. So definitely make sure that you do that. Let's go uh, watch some of these other defense replays. So we won this one. I don't really know how. Uh, he just didn't attack from the bottom, I guess. We only had 1,200 available. He, again, drops his king down first, guys. You don't want to do that. You want your king... Uh, you want something in front of your king. That's why, like, with the go wipe that we just did, we dropped off the golems and then the king. Because the king, he's, he's good. You need him. You need him to stay alive. You need him to go in there and do work for you. You need to save his ability to when he has a bunch of barbarians around him if you're rolling with barbarians. This guy's got one Valkyrie and a whole bunch of minions, but the king's up. The king, I thought the king was going to go down right before he took out that air fence, but that kid was able to take out that. Here goes a bomb, taking out a whole bunch of those minions, but it looks like the minions are actually getting in there and taking out a good amount of that elixir. They better not get it. Come on, Wizard Tower. Go to town. Go to work on them. These Wizard Tower are good. So look at that. The Wizard Tower has actually protected our Dark Elixir. Oh my gosh, they got one hit off on the Dark Elixir, and that one hit was worth uh, like 43. I don't know if that was all from that, because it could have been from one of the pumps. But the base protected pretty well, guys. And as we build up our walls um, and all that kind of stuff, it's just going to continue getting better. Um, I need to figure out what to do about air troops and that kind of thing. Uh, maybe move my archer towers around a little bit, something along those lines. But it's holding up pretty well. If you guys have been using the base, let me know how it's working for y'all. I would love to know. And, uh, yeah, as always, guys, why don't you make sure you keep calm and you clash on for me, right? See you guys later. Peace.